Betelgeuse, the enormous red supergiant closest to Earth, has shown a remarkable decline in brightness in recent years, sparking a wide range of reactions worldwide. Some theories suggest this fading might signal the approach of a supernova, a catastrophic explosion that raises concern among scientists and the general public alike. Betelgeuse, a major star in the Orion constellation, has regained some of its former brilliance after dimming, yet it seems to be entering a phase of reduced activity. Experts are now pondering the future of Betelgeuse and whether its eventual detonation could have any impact on Earth. Orion, one of the most iconic constellations in the sky, is well known for its two primary stars Rigel and Betelgeuse. The latter, also referred to as Alpha Orionis, is the largest and most luminous star in Orion. Observations made by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and various other observatories revealed that Betelgeuse underwent an extraordinary mass ejection in 2019, an occurrence never recorded in any star of its kind. Although coronal mass ejections CMEs, are relatively common with our sun this particular outburst from Betelgeuse is unique and has generated significant intrigue among astronomers. This massive burst of mass expelled by the star was 400 billion times greater than the typical CME observed in stars like ours briefly obscuring some of its light and leading to its unusual dimming. Estimates regarding the distance of Betelgeuse from Earth vary with some placing it as far as 724 light years away. Measuring the distance to red supergiants such as Betelgeuse is challenging due to their vast size and unusual traits. Betelgeuse is one of the most luminous stars visible from Earth, shining with about 100,000 times the brightness of our Sun. However, such intense luminosity comes at a cost Betelgeuse is expending its energy rapidly burning through its fuel and accelerating its inevitable demise. The star will eventually exhaust its fuel supply, collapsing under its own gravity and potentially triggering a supernova, a violent explosion that might leave behind either a neutron star or a black hole assuming current scientific theories hold. If the star were to explode in a supernova, its outburst could have catastrophic consequences for Earth. Supernovae are capable of emitting light so bright that they can rival an entire galaxy. Even if Betelgeuse is relatively distant, such an explosion would be hard to ignore. Since the last supernova observed in our galaxy was in 1604 and the most recent one in 1987 occurred in the Large Magellanic Cloud 169,000 light years away the destructive potential of a nearby supernova remains an intriguing yet concerning possibility. If such an event were to unfold within our galaxy, it could have profound implications for Earth. Supernovae, though spectacular, are much less powerful than gamma-ray bursts GRBs, which are on an entirely different scale. While supernovae have the potential to obliterate biospheres and blanket planets in deadly radiation, it is their ability to strip away a planet's ozone layer that is particularly troubling. A weakened or destroyed ozone layer exposes the planet to harmful ultraviolet radiation which could result in an extinction event. The initial radiation burst from a supernova is dangerous, but the more insidious threat comes in the form of cosmic rays that arrive hundreds of thousands of years later. These rays are capable of further damaging the planet's surface and potentially preventing life from recovering. Historical records show evidence of past supernovae. For example, traces of Iron-60, a radioactive isotope formed during supernova explosions, have been detected in Earth's oceans and lunar regolith, suggesting that the Earth may have been affected by a supernova within the past few million years. Although astronomers have ruled out any imminent supernova threats, they have discovered another potential risk. Certain types of supernovae emit radiation that can travel vast distances and inflict damage on planets like Earth. When a star nearing the end of its life is surrounded by a substantial amount of material, a specific type of supernova may occur. The shock wave from the initial explosion strikes the surrounding disk, triggering the emission of vast amounts of X-ray radiation. This high-energy radiation has the potential to deplete a planet's ozone layer by as much as 50%, which could induce an extinction event within a range of 150 light years. Fortunately, no such X-ray supernovae are currently known to be near enough to Earth to pose a direct threat. These findings have caused astronomers to reconsider the boundaries of the galactic habitable zone, the region within galaxies where life is likely to exist. Star formation in the outer regions of a galaxy is too low to create the necessary elements for rocky planets. Meanwhile, the inner regions where stars are born and die quickly are hazardous due to frequent supernovae irradiating the surrounding areas. While the biosphere on Earth would likely remain intact, the spectacle would certainly be impossible to miss. According to astronomers Goldberg and Bauer, Betelgeuse's explosion would result in a luminosity roughly half that of the full moon visible for several months. This brightness would be visible even during the daytime and cast shadows during the night. For several years after the explosion, the supernova's remnants would continue to be visible to the naked eye.
Although Betelgeuse's supernova would be a fascinating event, it would not be without consequences. The global fascination with such a phenomenon would be undeniable but the long-term implications for Earth's environment remain uncertain. As scientists continue to monitor this red supergiant, we can only wait and watch hoping that the threat, if any, is far off. The outcome of Betelgeuse's eventual supernova explosion would be a stunning sight, but not without significant consequences. The enormous burst of light from such an event would likely be the second brightest object in our sky right after the sun. During its peak, it would shine with an intensity so great that it could easily outshine the moon. This would cause the star to become visible during daylight hours, casting visible shadows in the darkest of nights. Despite its blinding light, it is important to note that visible light emitted by a supernova accounts for only a small fraction of the total energy produced. The more pressing concern is the high energy radiation released typically in the form of gamma rays and X-rays. These forms of radiation are extremely dangerous and have the potential to strip the Earth's ozone layer, a protective shield that prevents harmful ultraviolet rays from reaching the surface. Without this layer life on Earth would be exposed to dangerous levels of radiation increasing the risk of a mass extinction event. The aftermath of the explosion would not end with the immediate burst of energy. Cosmic rays subatomic particles accelerated to nearly the speed of light would continue bombarding the planet for hundreds of thousands of years. These particles could further degrade the ozone layer, potentially altering the course of life on Earth for millions of years. While astronomers do not predict an immediate supernova, threat the detection of iron-60 in Earth's oceans and lunar soil suggests that past supernovae have affected our planet before. This highlights the need for continued monitoring of nearby stars like Betelgeuse. Astronomers closely monitor Betelgeuse using a variety of telescopes across different wavelengths, visible light, infrared, ultraviolet, and even radio waves. The star's erratic dimming and mass ejections have already drawn significant attention, but scientists are particularly looking for specific warning signs that may indicate an imminent supernova. Before Betelgeuse explodes its core will collapse in a fraction of a second. This collapse will generate an enormous release of neutrinos near massless particles that travel at nearly the speed of light and pass through matter with ease. Since neutrinos are emitted slightly before the visible explosion neutrino detectors on Earth such as Japan's Super Cameo Candy or the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory in Antarctica may be the first to detect Betelgeuse's impending demise. A sudden spike in neutrino detections from the direction of Orion would be a clear signal that a supernova is about to occur. Supernovae can also produce gravitational waves ripples in spacetime first predicted by Einstein and detected for the first time in 2015. If Betelgeuse undergoes a highly asymmetric explosion observatories such as LIGO Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory may detect these waves giving scientists another early warning. Once the supernova begins Betelgeuse's brightness will increase dramatically within hours. At peak luminosity it will outshine every other star in the night sky. If it happens during the day it will be visible even under sunlight. Astronomers will use instruments like NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory to observe the supernova in real time capturing unprecedented details of a nearby stellar explosion. Betelgeuse will remain intensely bright for several months visible even during the day. Over the course of several years the supernova's brightness will gradually fade but its remnant will still be visible to telescopes. The Orion constellation will be permanently changed without Betelgeuse it will look noticeably different in the night sky. A neutron star or a black hole may form at the explosion's core depending on the mass of the remaining material. While Betelgeuse is too far away to directly harm life on Earth, it could have subtle effects on our planet's technology and communications. A supernova releases a large amount of charged particles and cosmic rays. While Earth's atmosphere protects us from most of these satellites and spacecraft could be vulnerable. If the explosion produces an especially strong gamma-ray burst, it could temporarily affect the ozone layer, though scientists believe Betelgeuse is not oriented in a way that would direct such a burst toward Earth. Supernovae occur in the Milky Way roughly once every 50 to 100 years, but many of them happen deep within the galactic core or behind thick dust clouds, making them difficult to see from Earth. The last confirmed Milky Way supernova was Kepler's supernova in 1604, which was observed by astronomers, including Johannes Kepler. In 1987, a supernova was detected in the Large Magellanic Cloud SN1987A, but it was much farther away, about 169,000 light-years from Earth. Betelgeuse's explosion would be the closest observable supernova in centuries, offering humanity an unprecedented opportunity to study one in real time. 
If Betelgeuse is massive enough, its core collapse could result in the formation of a black hole instead of a neutron star. If this happens, it would become one of the closest black holes to Earth, but it would pose no threat to us due to its distance. Throughout history, bright celestial events have often been interpreted as omens inspiring myths, religious beliefs, and even political decisions. If Betelgeuse explodes within our lifetime, it will undoubtedly be one of the most awe-inspiring astronomical events witnessed by modern civilization. In ancient times civilizations such as the Chinese Babylonians and Mayans meticulously recorded the appearance of bright guest stars supernovae in the night sky. Despite any superstitions Betelgeuse's explosion would be a historic scientific event providing astronomers with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness a nearby star's final moments. For now Betelgeuse remains in an unstable but not yet critical state. While astronomers do not expect it to explode imminently, the event is inevitable whether it happens tomorrow or 100,000 years from now. If it happens in our lifetime, humanity will bear witness to a cosmic spectacle unlike anything seen in modern history. Telescopes, satellites, and ground-based observatories will capture every moment allowing us to study a supernova as it unfolds.